everybody in here. I hope Sarah doesn't be too hard on herself. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Tonight, Sarah Kay ended up going home for the challenge where we had to make multiple pieces to sell on the street. The head piece is five dollars. Come on now. I was really sweating it because I was on the bottom as well. Dusty, you're safe. Sarah, your work of art didn't work for us. It's time for you to go. Ten dollar portraits in the park today. Congratulations, young and Sarah. You will split thirty thousand dollars. So. I have $50,000 at this point. It's just like raining dollars everywhere. We'll do it our last challenge is gonna be. I'm proud to have come this far, but to not make it into the finale would be devastating. I'm gonna miss your laugh, Sarah. Five artists remain to compete for a solo show at the world famous Brooklyn Museum. A cover story in Blue Canvas Magazine. And $100,000 furnished by the 2012 Fiat 500. This is Work of Art, the next great artist. Cheers to the final five. Congratulations. At this point, everyone is in it to win it. Everyone sitting across from me is my mortal enemy. Yeah. Good morning, Simone! Good morning, good morning. Good morning, artists. I'm sure you're dying to find out what your next challenge is. Yes. Absolutely. You will be taking a train that is leaving within the next hour to Cold Spring, New York. Where's that? What's that? Never been, never heard anything about it, but the name makes it sound like it has something to do with spa treatment. Once you arrive there, China will tell you all about the new challenge. This will be the last hurdle before making it to the finale. I want you to give it everything. I wish you safe travels, and I really look forward to seeing you for my studio visit. Thank you so much, Simone. Oh, my God. I have no idea what to expect, but I definitely feel that I'm ready and geared up for it for sure. I keep telling myself, if I've made it this far, I can do this one. Look at this landscape. Wow, that's cool. The train ride is beautiful. You know, the further we get away from the city, the more it looks like home for me. Everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you did, actually. And not in a bad way. My ego feels a little bit hurt. I don't necessarily want to hear that someone thought I didn't think you were that talented to begin with. But I guess the advantage of it is is that you can always surprise people and catch them off guard. I started off good and then I had my downfall and I feel like I came back up. You're on a roll. Oh, it's spring. Oh, it's spring. Arriving in Cold Spring, I just feel free. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the quaint town of Cold Spring, New York. This challenge will determine which three artists make it into the finale. That means two of you will be going home. A double elimination in a group of five, my heart stops a little bit. I'm not ready to go home. If you survive this challenge, you will be competing for the grand prize. A solo show at the Brooklyn Museum <laughs> and $100,000 furnished by the 2012 Fiat 500. Wow. $100,000 would obviously change my life. I would definitely put it towards my art making practices. For your challenge, we would like you to find someone from the town of Cold Spring and create a portrait worthy of sending you to the finale. Wow. Ooh. You have the next two hours to explore this beautiful community, meet the town, and find your subject. I'm not tremendously outgoing in terms of talking to people before they talk to me, so I'm starting to get nervous. You will each have $200 to purchase anything you want from the stores here in town. You will have all of tomorrow to complete your pieces. Enjoy your time on Main Street, and I'll see you in the gallery. Thank you. Thank you. and it's based on doing a portrait. I have our no Oh, okay, that would be bad. Bye. You're 
one of the owners of this place. Is it, are you here just by yourself, or do you have a big... No, we have an innkeeper. His name is Dave. I figure the bed and breakfast will have the most information about the town, and I was hoping to maybe find out some of the town secrets from the owner. We have nine rooms. Some of them have jacuzzi. Some of them have wood-burning stoves. So how are you guys? Hello, how are you? Just looking for someone to make a portrait about. Did you meet Jim next door here, our motorcycle guy? No. Can I take a picture of you? No, sorry. No? Okay. What's your daughter's name? Mairead. Mairead? That's beautiful. Hello, Mairead. I'm uh, looking for somebody to do a portrait of. I was thinking maybe I could do one over your daughter. That would be great. All right, awesome. I have a, a daughter that turned one yesterday that I... And What's so, her, name? her name's Cora. I wish I could be with Cora right now, but I'm so happy that she has been in my life for a year, and I miss her so much. Give me a big smile. I decide pretty quickly that I'm going to be doing a portrait of Maraid. What's your favorite kind of candy? All kinds. All kinds. I want to capture this vibe of being a child and this fun, energetic, reckless abandon that she has. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, nice Thank to you. Meet you. Nice to meet you. You know where I can buy some candy? My idea is to do some kind of mosaic piece made out of candy. It'd be really colorful, which is kind of how I see her. Thank you very much. You too. Closed. Universe closed. I've never been to Cold Spring before. This is my first time here. You know, you're just living in history right here. I mean, George Washington named the town. Yeah. And this town? Yeah, George Washington. I had no idea. Spring, yeah. How did you feel about the idea of someone perhaps making a portrait of you? Oh, no, 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 no. Bye. Hi. Hi. What are your names? Bob and Barbara. Bob and Barbara. Do you have a favorite object in your store that means something really personal to you? That oh, yeah. <laughs> Besides your partner, you always love dolls. This is going to be great. I love music boxes. So many music boxes. I, have to I would love to have you guys doing that. Yeah. Skating? You well, you could pretend. Bob is super interesting looking and Barbara is very wholesome and they just look great together. Yeah, and just Actually I taught her how to skate her first date. Are you being serious? <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling really good about this idea of their first date and this action of like ice skating with one another. I think they're gonna be pretty great subjects to work with. This is kind of the jackpot right here. You better win this thing. I can't express to you how badly I want this, so I'll I will do you guys proud. Good luck with the rest of the year. <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? Wow, there's a lot of coins here. Yeah, coins since I was 10. Really? Yeah. What makes people who collect coins? I, I think basically a lot of it is the history. You know, I mean, that's probably what got me into it. I, I love history. Dennis and Tommy are business partners. They buy and sell coins, currency. This here from 1770. And down here, if you see, let's say. Tis death to counterfeit. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't fool around. They, they would hang you if you uh, were caught counterfeiting. Wow. History was always my favorite subject in school. Immediately, they're just kind of regaling me with all these stories about the history of our currency. It's like psychedelic, this <laughs> Do you know who the artist was who designed this? It would compete just like they do today to do the design for the building. I know that I'm going to make a portrait of Dennis and Tommy, and I love them. Oh, awesome. OK, thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks so much. OK, bye. I love them. I love them. This is one, one of our rooms. It's called the Morning Ivy. Everybody loves it because of the fireplace. <sighs> Come on. The clock is ticking, and we need to get out of here. There are four rooms upstairs. She's giving me an infomercial, so I don't think she's going to be the best subject for my portrait. Right, well, thanks for coming. Thanks so it's much, Vera. Pleasure. I just wasted so much time. I only have 30 minutes left to find someone for my portrait. Holy, holy All righty. Continue the journey. Coming up on Work of Art. Nothing's working. What's happening? That's going to suck worse than this, I think. The idea is starting to go south on me. Walking around the 
town of Cold Spring. I'm starting to panic a bit because I haven't found someone who I want to paint a portrait of. Nice to meet you. It's nice. It's really Better beautiful here. Nice. I just came to find stories here in the town, and I get to do a portrait on anyone who I want to. Oh, so wow. All we have here is stories. When did you become a fireman? Oh, I come and join you in 53. Did your wife ever get scared knowing that you had to go fight fires? Never asked her. I'm really intrigued by Jackie. He has been a fireman for 58 years. <laughs> Is this what you had to drive? Yeah, I drove more. Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. All, the all... horses over there on the right? I never drove the horses. I'll do it there. <laughs> How do you move? I wouldn't be able to fight any fire. I would just go and roll over. Seeing his excitement around it after doing it for almost six decades just boggles my mind. And that's when I decide to commit myself to doing a portrait of Jackie. I think my time's almost up, so I have to start heading back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. It was really great talking to you. Thank you. We only have 20 minutes left, so I'm pretty nervous. And then I see there's an artist studio, and there's actually a painter working on some paintings. Hi there. Sorry to interrupt your painting. That's all right. My name is Young. Terrence. Terrence, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Can we sit and talk for a bit? Oh, or... for sure. There's a, there's a throne. Lovely. Got a couple chairs. When you're making portraits of someone, what do you try to capture? You, you hope there's, a, like, like, a spark and, and some emotion. Like, how much would a commission cost? Two to four thousand, I guess. Um, if I were to give you $200, I'd love to get a portrait of myself by you. Oh, no. Just if, if I could. <laughs> Might be kind of a fun exercise. It doesn't even have to look like me. <laughs> okay. Can we do Let's that? Let's do it. Awesome. It's kind of like, Terrence, today's challenge is for you to paint me in 20 minutes. You have $200. Your time begins now. I like this idea of you making a portrait of me while I'm making a portrait of you. All those are words on your hands. My daughter last night. My daughter Olivia. I love Liv. You have kind of Justin Bieber a chair. Yeah, I have gotten that before, actually. <laughs> <laughs> It's looking very cool so far. Well, it's all right. It's kind of fun. Yeah, no, like... it's great. When you're making a portrait of someone, there's a power relationship where someone's making something and someone has to be submissive. Mm, but I've ever had my portrait. <laughs> That's so cool. That's Thank not you bad, so much. Actually. No, I really love it. Right. I'm hoping that the final piece will indicate a bit of that tension and that game between us. It's 200 exactly. There's my name on the envelope. Sweet. Thank you so much. Time's up and I'm done. I feel really great. I'm thinking I have a lot of rich material. Oh my God. Ooh, that's beautiful. So you met a painter? Yeah. As soon as I see Young with the portrait, it's like, man, that is a really good idea. I should have thought of that. Okay. Ooh. I wish we could have slept over. Oh, that'd you know, been the bed and like, breakfast? Yeah, the, the bed and breakfast, breakfast was amazing. Oh really? My God. They had all these different rooms called like enchantment ah! and like. Dusty, what are you doing? That's pretty simple right now, but I'm trying to figure out something else to go with it. It's pretty simple. I want it to kind of, yeah, I don't know. I'm still in the work. There's a lot riding on this piece. Who knows if I'll ever get an opportunity like this again to have a show in the Brooklyn Museum. Either I'm going to grab it or I'm going to fall short. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Good night. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Bob and Barbara in the same pose as the couple that's on the front of the music box that I purchased from their store. I really want to capture Bob and Barbara's weirdness and also sweetness. What the hell is this? Is that awesome $5 bill from the year... 1928? From the year my grandmother was born. Wow. Yeah. Trying to figure out how I can represent Dennis and Tommy who are two coin collectors. I consider doing kind of a straightforward portrait, but I feel like I really need to use these beautiful old bills and notes in my piece. Do you have any Skittles? I do, actually. I'm gonna be doing a portrait of Marae. She told me that she likes candy, and the M&Ms are perfect, and I can get them to match up with the color scheme that I have. I am worried about time, because it's going to take thousands of these little candies. 
For my portrait, I'm using the detail shots of Terrence's hands, of his eyes, of his mouth, implying the sense that I've only gotten a small picture of who he is as a person. I'm cutting up the photos and then placing them under these planks of wood. The portrait that Terrence painted of me is going to be opposite the wooden planks, maybe facing it. At this point, I haven't quite figured it out. Smells good. I'm gonna create a portrait out of Jackie, who's a fireman. You think fire trucks, you think shiny material. So I wanna create something semi-sculptural out of aluminum. My wrists are already so sore. I'm not used to hammering. I start hammering in an imprint of Jackie smiling into the metal. And I'm going to create these name badges that look like they've survived, you know, going through burning houses. Revelation. I start to think maybe I should write Tommy and Dennis a letter and communicate something about who they are. <laughs> You're writing them a letter? Yeah. Lola's writing a letter and not altering the money in any way. I don't know. I don't see that as a portrait. Good evening, artist. Hi. 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 We'll soon know which three of you are going to go to the finale. Oh. I'll start my studio visit over here. Hey, Dusty. Hello. So, how are you doing so far? Hard to tell right now. I haven't really got into the details yet. There's things I like about it. I'm just, the thing I'm nervous about is it looks like some of the stuff I've already done. So, I don't know if that go against me or what. That's my concern about it, because uh, it reminds me so much of your yeah. self-portrait right, when you yeah. started the competition. I had another idea this morning that had like a little more depth to it. What was your other idea? These little paper fortune tellers, like this right here. I was going to use these for my pixels. Yes. That idea was supposed to become about what will happen to this girl over time. Mm -hmm. I, I like that in a way. Uh, I feel that with some artists, there's really been gross uh, mm -hmm. during this competition. And for me, this is... Uh, return right to where yeah. you started the journey. I do hope it'll somehow come together, that it will not be banal, uh, which it could. So, all right. remember, I want to come to Arkansas. Yeah, that'd be great. Do the best. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I feel re-motivated to think of a new direction. I don't want to go home at this point. I definitely want to be in the finale. Winning the money would be great for me and my family. I want to be here. Whoa, you know what I mean? It's like I'm throwing up inside. Hey, Sarah, so did you find some inspiration in Cold Spring? I did. I ended up talking a lot to these firemen. This guy's name is Jackie, and I did this imprint of his face. And then I made all these individual name tags. There are 58 of them for each year that he was in... A in firefighter, service. it's covered in charcoal, which yes, is made out of yes. fire. What I like about it is that it's completely unconventional, particularly as far as your own style is concerned. And I think using materials that your subject has been using all his life makes it interesting. And it's how you're going to arrange it yeah. and how you play with those materials, yeah. which will ultimately make it work or not. Right. So give it all you have. Okay. Thank you, Simon. So this is Terence, the artist who was painting my portrait while I was photographing him painting me. So my portrait is basically recreating that moment mm -hmm. of him furtively looking at me and then me mm -hmm. kind of just kind of posing for him. Mm -hmm. And then my portrait will be either on another wall or somewhere in this space. And how will you exhibit those planks? This yes. is basically looking at the wall. It's quite striking, just focusing on these photographic details. I'm actually more of a photographer, and this is really the first photographic piece that I'm making. I wish you good luck, Young, and I look forward to seeing you at the gallery show tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Hello, Kimia. Wow. I wanted to sort of capture them with the, all the little orphans that they own in their antique shop. 
yes. you know, in their arms, and then they'll each have two pairs of arms. I don't know what to think of it so far. Ah. It's quite a conventional portrait in many ways. The only non-conventional thing is that they're going to have several arms. <laughs> and uh, I do think it's a good idea to get some weirdness into right. it, because otherwise it's just a boring, boring uh, portrait. Right, so, right. okay, Kimia. Oh, no, no, the eyebrows. <laughs> I see your eyebrows. Uh -oh. No, no, listen, I want you all to do well, so yeah. good luck. To go home at this point would be devastating. I want my work to be in galleries, I want it to be museums, and so making it to the final three would just put me closer to that. Hey, Lola. Hi, Simon. I'm doing a portrait of Dennis and Tommy, the coin collectors. Mm -hmm. Where are they here? I mean, they're, they're not physically here. What I've got right now is this sort of paper form of U.S. history. All of your competitors are doing fairly figurative work, and you're taking the opposite route. And Do you think that it's possible to make a portrait of someone without using their image? You have to make a very convincing argument to the judges. I personally think that you could make such an argument. I'll embrace my role as the dark horse in this one. Thank you very much, Simon. Not at all. Thank you, Lola. I'm just hoping that the judges will be open in deciding what constitutes a portrait. Artists, we have a few hours left to complete your work, so go for it. Thank, Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Are you okay? I don't feel like I can make that piece. I feel like it's the same thing as that over there. I mean, it's a good portrait. I think it looks sexy. I'm trying this fortune teller idea. I'm going to cover a canvas in fortune tellers that are all white, and kind of write in color, words that have things to do with your future, like your job situations, financial situations, and then mount those and do like a painting on top of all of that. The best thing I bought it is it's not the same visual image as some of my other work. I think maybe at least the judges will appreciate me trying to go in a new direction. Did you decide to put the figures in? I'm not putting the figures in. You know what Dusty's doing? He's making a bunch of those, like, fold-up little fortune things. Cute. I hope that works for him. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm thinking that if someone fails miserably, it'll give me a better chance. 20 minutes. is working. What's happening? That's going to suck worse than this, I think. The idea is starting to go south on me. I'm not going to have enough time to glue 180 of them down. It looks like my new idea is not going to work. I'm not having any luck today. I decided to go back to my original idea with the candy piece. Time. You know, after coming this far, being this close to the finale, it would not be a good time to go out. so nice up here. It hit me that two people have to not be in the final three tomorrow. Well, you guys, cheers. 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 We're going to this far. Cheers. 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 What is that? Tonight, this is our last little hurrah. So it's really sad. I'm going to put a spell that they actually want all of us. Dusty, Kimia, Young, Lola, little baby Sarah. <laughs> We all get to try and do a oh show for the Brooklyn Museum. Everyone going to the Brooklyn Museum. Yes! These are my um, boyfriend's scissors. Every time I use them, it's like I'm holding his hands. <laughs> I'm just rearranging the piece in different formations and where I want the painted portrait of myself in relation to the boards. I've done so well throughout this whole competition, but that's actually a, a handicap in a way because when you're at the top consistently, the only place you can go is down. Dear Dennis and Tommy, you are the secret historians of Cold Spring, New York. I have a letter that I've written and I have this idea to make a little drawing of Tommy and Dennis. I think the judges may like that I thought about portraiture in sort of a new, alternative way. Let's back up a little bit. And that's his number over and over again? 
That's his name. They have these oh. name plates that they wear on their suit. What's his name, Paloon? Says, yeah. I am not a giant fan of this particular piece from Sarah. That confuses it for me yeah. personally. Yeah. It doesn't read well. Aesthetically, it's really turning me off. I don't think she's going to be part of that final three. Acrylic? Yeah, acrylic and pen. Artists, your time is up. I know that there's a high probability that these things are going to start falling off. The more I think about them falling off, the more interesting that is becoming to me. Even though I feel like it's risky to make a portrait using a letter, it's just way more interesting than Dusty's candy piece, which personally I think is not very good for an artwork. Coming up on Work of Art, the candy's falling off. All the things that you're saying you like about the piece wasn't intentional. I'm responsible for every decision made in it. I have a dance party right now. I don't know how to make art with music anymore. At one point in the studio, someone puts on music. It's this really, really magical moment. Stop. dancing and then I just immediately start crying because this is our very last challenge between here and the finale and I feel really emotional. It's a special time. <laughs> Please say hello to your judges. Critic Jerry Saltz. Hi, Hi, Jerry. Gallery owner Bill Powers. Yes. And your guest judge this week, celebrated contemporary painter Richard Phillips. Cool. Richard Phillips is a portrait painter, and he's someone that does portraits that are about the likeness of people, but they're also a bit conceptual. Let's open up the gallery and see how you did. that the people from Cold Spring walk into the gallery. It's a big surprise. I like the tinfoil. Yeah, that's, that's you cool. right. That's cool. <laughs> wow. Did she step out of her comfort zone or what? I like how the piece looks. It's like this physical manifestation of all the 58 years that he survived as a firefighter. So I wanted to make 58 nameplates. Well, I never knew he had a heart till today because he brought tears to us. Did this bring tears to your eyes? Yes, it did. Oh, my God. You got my favorite person, my favorite thing. You got everything perfect. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Barbara. <laughs> I feel like I captured the true essence of Bob and Barbara. I didn't want to over-conceptualize the piece, and the vision I had of them is pretty true to the world that surrounds them. It's sort of an interesting combination of um, symbols and elements and uh, confidence with the paint. Can you tell that it's you? Yep, I can <laughs> tell because of the red bow on top. Oh. I think the piece looks great in the gallery space. It captures kind of the spirit of the girl. It's kind of bright, colorful. It has a fun vibe to it. I like that they're falling off. I That's not too. bad. <laughs> Is she going to eat some of them? Good art. It's a weird juxtaposition, like when he has the ear right next to the open mouth. It's... Oh, I know. They're not necessarily easy reads. I think it has a very strong presence. It's an unusual take on the idea of portraiture by including a portrait of myself. Overall, I think it's a successful piece. I think it's awesome. I love the way it, it spills, it just spills out, right? That's really cool. Just put a picture up there, and you know who we are, you know, but that's telling a whole different story. 
That's what we do. I think that my portrait is pretty innovative. It's a portrait of the world that these two coin collectors live in. For a silver dollar, she took a huge risk because it's totally abstract and people will go, what the heck are you doing with this money? I really want to be in the finale and I think my piece can get me there. And so I wrote you guys a letter also oh. and you can have a copy. I know, that's welcome. great. You're welcome. <laughs> You're going to go places. You will. You already have. There was some very impressive work tonight, but also some disappointments. Only three of you will make it to the finale. Sarah, let's start with you. I met these firemen and Jackie became so emotional when he talked about his life as a fireman. You could tell it was part of his soul. So I wanted to make this sort of memorial to him out of this inflammable material. I love how abstract the right side is and the mystery to it. I thought for sure you were gonna give us a drawing and I'm glad you didn't. It's really brave, really bold. I saw two different works of art in a way. I saw this portrait, which I find very interesting, and the intimacy with your subject is evident in the light drawing. In trying to embellish it with the repetition of the metal tags, it diminishes. Uh. Just because there's overlap in the materials doesn't mean that the idea is unified. I so disagree. Sarah, for this piece, you went out of your comfort zone around the materials, around the style, Really impressed with that. I feel like if I'm here, I'd much rather go home and know that I challenged myself. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you. Dusty, let's talk to you. It's kind of like a rainy, depressing day that day, and I see this girl who's like totally bubbly and couldn't not be happier. I talked to her for a little bit, and the subject of candy came up. It triggered in my mind maybe I could make a piece out of candy for her. The relationship between the material and what you're looking at, I think, is something that's really successful. And, you know, the fact that it's falling apart, that it's made out of candy, that it actually works with this piece. I kind of like the idea that it's a temporary art piece. To me, that's how I see the childhood situation. It's so temporary. I love that the candy's falling off. To me, that might be the best part. The fact that they're falling down, which you're all saying that, you know, you really like about the piece, wasn't intentional. You know, does that matter? I don't know. But I don't think it does, personally. Maybe happy accidents happen to people who deserve I'm them happy. more. I'm responsible for every decision made in it. I knew there was kind of a chance of them falling off. You know, I'm not backing off of that. Can you see how this might be a little too paint by numbers with candy? But it reminds me a bit of the first challenge that I saw, the clown. Yeah, but I don't feel like I haven't grown because I know that I have inside. Thank you very much, Dusty. Lola, we would like to talk to you next. My portrait is of Dennis and Tommy, who are coin collectors. By sharing the history of these notes with me, money became beautiful to me in a way that it never had been before. So I was interested in making a portrait of them that was not figurative, but really reflected their interests. I really like the graphic power of your display of the money that is attractive. Thanks. I don't know that I would get that this was a portrait. I'm seeing the history of money. We're all defined in some ways by our obsessions, and that was part of what I wanted to show. I admire that this is a complex, abstract portrait, but in many ways, your work often tries to touch every base at the same time everywhere. And much of the time, I feel like you may be obfuscating, and I find it defensive and a little off-putting. I don't know what to say, Jerry. Like, I feel defensive because I believe in my piece, and I think it's, you know, more difficult to get into than <laughs> some of other people's things, you know? It's like, I made a letter, I wrote them a letter. I don't know, you know, I feel, I feel defensive because I want to be here, and I think I have, you know, good, complicated ideas. I mean, I can sometimes be brutally honest, like everyone, I think, you know, that. Don't worry. knows that. And, I, and then I feel bad because I don't want to come off like a total bitch. Like... Thank you very much, Lola. Young, let's start your crit. 
I met an artist named Terence Donovan, and I decided to ask him to paint a portrait of me. So this is um, Terence's portrait of me in his studio, and you'll see that I have uh, my camera in my right hand, and so while he was painting me, I was actually taking photographic portraits of him. I love that the portrait that you made of him is fragmented, so if he was standing in front of me, I wouldn't necessarily be able to recognize him. Yeah, I didn't want to limit him in just terms of having one visual depiction. I, I feel like you can remove all the photography and hang his portrait directly on the wall and declare this portrait of me by him constitutes portraiture. I think I just didn't see that opportunity and I totally agree that would have been an amazing statement. I agree with what Richard just said. You've fallen into this trap before where you sort of tidy up your thinking for us and in this case you made it messy in a very tidy way. There is this sort of level of presentation or professionalism that I do get mired in, and that's something that I've been trying to step out of. Thank you very much, Young. Thank you. Kimia, let's start your crit. I found Bob and Barbara. They were so weird and interesting, and stories started to sort of unfold. And I learned that Bob just, you know, blurred out. He's like, actually, our first date was ice skating, and that's what's on the front of the music box. So I really wanted to sort of capture the same body language. I liked having the piece from, like, the 1800s, and I like how it's kind of just, like, fallen out of the painting. Thank you. When I first saw this, I thought, oh, she gave us a cartoon. And then I met them. Yeah, that and was... And they're cartoons. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've seen the way that I can draw, and this is definitely far from that style I showed you before. At first, I was, like, completely like, whoa, you know what I mean? It's like I'm throwing up inside when I'm looking at, you know, but the, <laughs> the weirdness of it makes sense of it. The graffito and the drawing into the paint in the background, which seems like their objects are mocking them. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kimia. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, everyone. We have some really big decisions to make. Please head up to the studio, and we will call you back shortly. Thank you. It was hard. Congrats to everyone for surviving that. It's just weird how abruptly this is all going to end, you know what I mean? Like... Richard, as an artist who's known for doing portraiture, how do you think our artists did with this challenge? I think that each of them brought their own uh, special qualities as artists to the manifestation of, uh, of this work. It really shows that the five artists here are the ones that belong here. Let's talk about Sarah's portrait. She went way out of her comfort zone, started working with materials that are foreign to her. That's pretty good. But she framed it as almost an homage to this guy's service. And that did not come through at all for me. But what did come through is the character of the portrait. Let's talk about Dusty's work. It's the one piece that most cohesively binds material to image. But there's nothing that special about it. It's like a painting made of Lego or popsicle sticks. What do we think about Young? I was really impressed at how confident Young was to give that much power to another party. Look, it's a little bit theatrical. Everything's placed for us. It's all neat and clean, which keeps it kind of boring. Let's move on to Lola. There's a lot of different elements, and I'm not sure if they really gel. What we're left with is a scrap of a portrait on a piece of paper that's been gilt with gold and silver. Not necessarily. I really was involved with the risk of the piece, how difficult it was to put together as an idea, and I really respect that. What I love about Kimia's piece is that she was brave enough to not bring them into her world, but she went into their world. But it was visually off-putting at first, and you really had to examine it to have an appreciation. She made an American type come to life. So three of these artists are going to get gallery shows, and two are going home tonight. I'm interested mostly in the artists that show that they do grow on the spot, and yet keep surprising anybody that's watching, including themselves. This is it. We've decided which three artists are going to the finale. We have. We have. Yes, we have. You have all shown us exciting work throughout the competition, but only three of you will be moving on to the finale. Let's start with the winner of this challenge.
congratulations. Kimia. Oh. Oh my God. You made a true work of art. Kimia, you did a really great job in bringing to life the characters you found in Cold Spring. Congratulations. Thank you so much. This win guarantees you a spot in the finale. I am going to the finale. It's insane. I'm so excited for the next few months. You have no idea. <laughs> the next artist who's earned a spot in the finale is... such an emotional feeling to realize, wow, I've made it to the end. I wish I could share this with my dad, but I do feel like he's here with me in spirit. Kimia and Young, we are excited to see your final gallery shows. You can both head up to the studio. Lola, Sarah, Dusty. Two of you will not be moving on to the finale. Dusty, your portrait is obviously filled with love, and you really connect to your subject. Unfortunately, your piece comes off like a gimmick, and that was really a problem for us. Sarah, the figurative portrait that you did of the fireman really resonated with us, but the 58 name tags just seemed like overkill, and your piece ended up feeling disjointed. Lola, we really admire your exploration of two men's obsession with American currency. And there were many interesting elements, but his portraiture, it didn't add up. Dusty. Your work of art didn't work for us. It's time for you to go. Thank you, Dusty. It's hard not to be mad, because I feel like I deserve it. But no! I'm just trying to grasp for reasons why I didn't make it, and I'm coming up short. There are things. I'm sorry. There's only one spot left for the finale. Congratulations, you're going to the finale. <coughs> that means, Lola, your work of art didn't work for us. I just really wanted to make it to the end. It's just really hard to get so close to be the last one standing there. Sarah, you will be joining Young and Kimi in the finale. Congratulations. Thank you. You can both return to the studio. Thanks so much, guys. I learned a lot. It was really good. I'm frustrated, but I'm trying not to let it negate everything that I've learned and gone through throughout this whole process. <laughs> Just really sad. Yeah. To know that taking risks and trusting my process has paid off is amazing. <laughs> Next week, the finale of Work of Art. <laughs> he calls me a long-term investment. So. <laughs> when we come to your sculpture, in the one this on the one. left, I find horrendous. It's really disappointing because I've been working like crazy. The journey is not quite over. Does that made it worse? Seem friendly. Yeah. It's gonna make me cry. Pretty incredible to think that today is the biggest day of my art life. It's the most life I've seen in your work. I mean, I think if you can do this, you can really tackle anything. I think it could have been stronger, <laughs> but you're disagreeing with it. This was a tough decision, but I think we found our winner. Go to bravotv.com slash work of art for info on how to own a print from your favorite artist. Matches, pretty matches.